Hi, I'm Christina Sanchez-Dini from the Yale University Porvoo Center for Teaching and Learning. Today I will explain navigating your Canvas course. Let's begin our tutorial. You can get to Canvas from a web browser by typing in canvas.yale.edu. Select NetID to log in. From here you will see your Canvas dashboard. I have my dashboard set to card view, but you can change this to the view of your preference by clicking the three dots located here. You can drag and drop the course cards in the order you prefer to see them. Now I will enter my Canvas course by clicking on the course card. Your course may look different than mine, but keep in mind that you can choose the home page of your choice by clicking Choose Home Page. Choose your preferred home page and click Save. The home page is where you will publish your Canvas course. You can do this by clicking Publish. If your course is not published, students will not be able to enter the course. Let's take a look at the course navigation to see what features Canvas has to offer. The first tool in the course navigation is the Announcements tab. Announcements serve as a way to communicate with your students. Click Plus Announcement to create a new announcement. Next, you'll see the Assignments tab. The Assignments page shows students all of the assignments that will be expected of them in the course. Assignments can be assigned to everyone in the course or differentiated by section or user. To create an assignment, click Plus Assignment. Next on the course navigation, we see Discussions. Discussions allow both instructors and students to start and contribute to as many discussion topics as desired. Discussions allow for interactive communication between two or more people. Next, you'll see Grades. Grades are entered according to the student's display grade settings. The Grades function within Canvas allows you to maintain all of your grades online. The other two tabs I'll point out are the People tab and the Photo Roster tab. The People tool is the roster tool created by Canvas. Students are able to see this tool and can see other people on this list. From here, you can manually enroll users as well as create new group sets. The Photo Roster is a tool created by Yale. Only users with an instructor or TA role will be able to see this tool. There are two different views, Photos and List. Back on the course navigation, let's click Pages. Pages store content and educational resources that are part of a course or group but don't necessarily belong in an assignment. Pages can include text, video, and links to files, and other course or group content. Pages can also be used as a collaboration tool for course wiki pages. Canvas keeps the entire history of the page to account for changes over time. Let's move on to files. As an instructor, files allows you to store files and assignments within Canvas. You can upload one or multiple files. The folder navigation window displays the file name, date created, date modified, modified by, size, accessibility score, and publishing options. The syllabus tab in your course allows you an area to put your course syllabus. For students to be able to search for your course in course search during course selection period, you should upload your syllabus and publish your course. Course Reserves is connected to Canvas through the Yale Library. By using Course Reserves, you can provide access to course readings from the library through Canvas. Once set up, you can see a list of your materials on Reserve here. The Media Library tool is designed to enable instructors or TFs to upload audio and video files that will be streamed to students. The Media Library enables you to record lectures, create video assignments, and much more. If you are recording your lectures via Zoom, this is the area you will place your recorded Zoom session. The last tab we'll go over is the Settings tool. The settings in your Canvas course allow you to edit the name of your course, import course content from a different course, view different users in your course section, and modify the course navigation. I hope this video helps you to better understand your Canvas course. As we only just touched on the basics of the main Canvas tools, please know there is much more that can be done within each of these tools. Thank you for watching and listening. The Porvoo Center has developed a library of digital recordings and resources. We encourage you to search for other helpful information on our website.
Thanks.